one and go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Triple T, back here with the Hurricane, and we are live here at WWE SummerSlam, and they have sent an exclusive GTA match, the final send-off match between Travis and Showtime Sean right here at SummerSlam. And you can't argue that Paul Levesque, Triple H, thank you. We, this would never have happened under old management, but... And, it doesn't make much more sense, Triple T, than has us on the call for it, replacing the normal WWE broadcast team of Michael Cole and Pat McAfee. Yeah, they want to have like the they want to have the commentators from the uh, organization it came from here, and um, they've seen some of their talent. They we got arguably the two biggest stars in our promotion's history, and they've seen some of our talent, you know, come to the, uh, us in the past, and like we've been a little talent change, and they're letting us uh, have the honors. Of um, getting some nice exposure here to like, uh, the millions uh, viewing SummerSlam, whether it's on pay per view, on uh, the network, on uh, live in the audience, so everything, sir. And Travis is a guy from Ohio, too, right? And Travis is a, is a native of Ohio. He should have some fan reaction pop. Maybe some of his local friends came. Uh, they, they need to get rid of Deshaun Watson and have another quarterback, but the defense is good. Yeah, Jerry Lawler, the Memphis King, was actually born in Cleveland. He's a big, Cle he's a big Cleveland Browns fan. Uh, Ravens fan. He's a big. They were in Cleveland for a time. He's a big Cleveland Browns fan. He was very upset when they moved to Baltimore at that one point. So um, he went back to the liking the uh, the new Browns, I guess, if you will. But um, second SummerSlam in Cleveland, uh, not the same venue, but. At the Quicken Loans Arena, they hosted SummerSlam, formerly the Gund Arena. The Gund Arena in 96, yep. Yeah. The, the Boiler Room Brawl, that was a great match they had, right? Between Undertaker and Mankind. Yeah, and we're back here 28 years later in the Cleveland Browns Stadium, and here comes the challenger. The strutting, styling Showtime Sean. What does Shawn Michaels think of Showtime Sean? Evidently, he's a huge fan. Uh, I guess he sees a lot of his young self in him. <laughs> And there's Showtime Sean posing and playing to the crowd. He's very uh, fired up, and he's ready to give uh, Travis a run for the money in this undisputed title first title match TLC match, right? Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, we've had some tremendous ladder and TLC matches in SummerSlam history. You think in 95, Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. In 2000, Edge Christian, the Hardys, the Dudley. What about, 90, what, what about 98, Rock and Triple H? Jeff Hardy. Oh, wow, yeah. A lot of great matches in the past year at SummerSlam. We have another one here tonight, here in 2024, as Los Uncle Travis takes on Showtime Sean. There's the title belt being raised. 20 feet above the ring. And there's the belt. We're ready for this screen match. Brought to you by Old Spice and Snickers. Travis kissing to the crowd here, bowing. He's very fired up. Leg drop. Nicely executed there by Travis. What's he looking for underneath the ring? Oh, he's got the table. Sean, oh, he did whack Sean. Sean tried to stop him. He just clocked him there with it. Man, if you would have thought Sean was still uh, recovering from all the wood he got downtown last night. Travis setting up the table in the ring. And Sean picks up. He's trying to close. <laughs> Why is Sean closing it? Drop kick, and now Travis with a clothesline here is all over him. Back on the outside, Travis looking. Travis is looking for a new weapon. What else he's gonna? He got another table. Those weren't the original table. Maybe we Looking for more weapons underneath the ring. He's got a ladder now. So you have two tables and a ladder in the ring. He's, he's looking for more. Look at Sean. Sean just letting him look for weapons. There's a second ladder. Is Sean just going to climb the ladder while Travis keeps grabbing stuff? <laughs> Larry's ending to this match. No, Travis is coming after him, though. It's not going to last. And then Travis just keeps hammering away on Sean. He's not going to go to... Oh, down goes Sean. Travis runs off the ropes. 
going under underside the ring again, look for some more. What else is he gonna get? What a great chair shot there by Travis. He looks for more. He's got another chair. My goodness. This is what we're all about, WWE fans. Are we going to get a Hurricanrana? What's going on here? No. Powerbomb by Travis. Travis back on the outside now. He's getting a second ladder. And he almost brought in some steel steps, but Sean comes to the stop. Showing a pile driver there onto the. Travis with a standing drop kick like Mr. Perfect style. How the hell did he get up quick enough to do that? Well, don't forget, these guys have the youth and they're never really hurting. They're always ready to go or they take some, some, some kind of drug to keep them uh, going all the time. <laughs> And Travis just keeps throwing some stuff in the ring. There's one uh, pair of steel steps and a second one. Not sure why this is all in the ring for it. It makes no sense. Oh my god, Triple D, let's get out of here. Let's get up. Travis clearing the table with the monitors. And another standing drop kick, perfectly executed there by Travis. Thanks, Travis. Nice to see you did change any in the big leagues, huh, Triple T? Nope. And now he's got. Oh no, Sean stops that one, though. Sean. Oh boy, that's gonna be a great thing to have, right? It's probably gonna be the biggest amount of money we've ever seen, huh? Yeah. In the business so far. And rolls him back in the ring. You grew up watching the SummerSlam pay per views as a kid, didn't you? Yes, I did. We never thought we'd be a part of it. No. Watching the premium live events growing up. They're pay per views, kids. And look at all these weapons here in the ring here. This is just. This is carnage. This, this is anarchy. This is complete mayhem, chaos, carnage, whatever you want to say. Yeah, everything's in the ring now. My goodness. <laughs> As JR would say, there's going to be hail to pay. Complete chaos and carnage. All right, in the ring. I'm just getting the whack. Oh, and the first one to get the whack was... Yeah, Travis just basically gave him like a chair to the right to the head. And uh, showing... Strong with the stomach breaker, though. And, ooh. Sean thinks the steps are bad news. He keeps throwing them out. And Travis now going for that table. Wax him. And then, if you didn't think both Uncle Travis was determined enough, I mean, just... That's a ridiculous. Yeah, that's a ridiculous motivation here. And Travis just put him already put him to the table. But it's not very good, man. I can barely move around. That's true. And Travis now locking up here with Sean. Irish whips him right into the ladder, and he is hurt. He lays against the ladder now. Big knife edge chop by Travis. He talked to Showtime Sean though earlier during the SummerSlam Fan Fest, and he's never sounded more determined than he has on a bigger stage. Not even back home, huh? Yeah, that's true. He's got a lot of determination, a lot of tenacity, and he's ready to go tonight, but. Travis has really got the uh, upper hand so far in this bout as he just keeps getting weapons. Do you think the bigger stage, do you think it being SummerSlam is going to factor into how these men, how driven they are tonight? Could be the first time jitters. We remember Jesse Ventura and Grill Monsu, so he's talking about those first time WrestleMania jitters. These guys being on a big stage like SummerSlam, it could be some jitters and butterflies and afraid to make a mistake. Oh, and he wilds him with the ladder. Nice move there by Showtime Sean. Sean sent the ladder now.
Can you believe what you're witnessing, Triple T? It's just complete chaos so far. And then Sean climbing. Travis is now going after him, trying to stop it. Can Sean get the... Oh, a punch to the midsection and again. Travis is stopping it. Down goes Sean. Travis is on the top. What's he going to do? Flying elbow drop by Travis. He definitely enjoyed that style. He would have done the same thing in his time. Travis now playing to the crowd. He's got another chair. The crowd loves it. I think these two have won over some new fans. Yeah, it's getting some Vice City, some exposure here. Oh, and a spinning back elbow. Springboard, back elbow indeed. Knocking the chair right into Travis's face. Irish whip off the ropes, nothing. Locking up again. Irish whip. And Travis into the ladder. Nice maneuver there. Oh, Sean's going to set it up. Sweet chin music. Nicely executed there by Showtime Sean. Now what's Sean doing? Clothesline by Showtime. Setting up again. He's tooting up the band. What will happen here? Here he goes. And oh, he clocked Travis at the third. And Travis gets right back up. How is that? How do you recuperate that quickly? That pile driver's huge. And now Travis now is trying to set him up. What's he going to go for? No, it goes back out of the ring. Let's pile on some more weapons, right? He's got the table. Travis can barely hold that table. It must be pretty heavy at this point, huh? I wonder if we got any cars or planes. What else is underneath the ring? What do you think? Think we got a gizzard underneath there? And for about the third or fourth time in the match, Travis with a standing drop kick, just knocking down Showtime Sean. And Sean now going for the back suplex. Nice one executed. Are you with us, Hurricane? Ah, uh, boy, that's a lot. It's been some great ones over the years. Um, I would say Bret Hart's usually the guy that brings out the best in SummerSlam. I mean, he had that great match with Mr. Perfect, the one with the Bulldog. Had a great with the Undertaker, Owen Hart. This a, a random match, but SummerSlam 93, the opening match ran through my mind between Razor Ramon and Ted DiBiase. What did you think about that one? That was a unique one, and that was actually DiBiase's um, last match in the World Wrestling Federation, other than um, some battle royal he came back in around 2006. Yeah, did he even do a house show matches after that? Yeah, he was pretty much gone. He went to Japan a little bit. I think he got hurt, and he came back as a manager in 94. And here we go. Here we go now. Sean back in. Oh, uh, Sean missing that crossbody uh, somersault. So you never know where you might end up a couple years down the road. So just keep uh, following the product and study your history. Knife edge shot there by Travis. Travis now running around. What's he going to go for now? Picks him up. Travis locking up and over the top. But no, he holds on the... Ooh, we got need in the kisser there. Showtime Sean coming back in. This is a tough one to call, buddy. There's a lot going on here. And Trav, ooh, into the buckle, right? There's a steel chair lined up there. Young men, most Uncle Trav, 25 years old, Showtime Sean, 22. Two young lions. I mean, obviously their best days are still ahead of them, Triple T. That's what's scary. So they got some time to move up the rankings. They also got to hope uh, the safe that they're really putting their bodies on the line here tonight, though. Oh, yeah. Travis now picking up Sean. And Sean at the kick. Oh, what a maneuver there by Sean. But this is what they love. They chose it for a reason, Triple T, just like you and I. Sean kind of walking around right now. Oh, Trap. No. Sean with the kick to the gut. Well executed there. 
He's got the table. What's he going to do? You ever thought about becoming a wrestler or what they call in this company a sports entertainer? Oh, boy. Now, after seeing some of these uh, bumps and moves, these guys taking this kind of hardcore style match. <laughs> oh boy. That's crazy. Throws him to the table. <laughs> Don't answer. And what's Travis doing here? Pile driver by Travis. He's, he's still not done. What more could he want? Caught in the ladder. And that graphic chair shot to the skull. We had to cut away there for a second there. Apologize, we're back. The ladder set up perfectly. Oh, nice back elbow. That must have hit him. Does he, do you have a steel plate in your forearm like that, Travis? I don't know. Oh, Hurricane. That was a really hard one there. Travis setting up the ladder. My goodness. Wait, what? The ladder? How's the ladder stuck in the air? It's hovering. I think Travis hooked it onto the ladder, Triple T. What the hell is he thinking? I don't know how you're going to climb that thing. You need a step stool to get up that ladder. Why is there his mindset behind that? He's not thinking. I mean, just so much craziness and mayhem going on. So that ladder's you hanging. You can get up there, but Sean somehow can. Yeah, it makes no sense at all. Hurricanrana. Oh, he misses the elbow drop. Oh, can't say GTA's not unique, Triple T. What is Travis doing? Punch to the back. Over the top rope goes Trav. What is going on in the ring? And oh, that ladder came. I guess, I guess he unhooked it when he walked by there. And now Sean set up the ladder. What's he going to do with it? Sean going for the heights. He wants to get the belt. Can he pull it down? Here it is. He's climbing down. He's yanking on it. Travis is a little. Wait, Travis is climbing the top rope. What is he going to. No, he comes down. What's Travis doing? Travis goes for a springboard, drop kicks the ladder. No, Sean is still on the ladder though. Travis somehow catches him though and power bombs him straight to the canvas. Does Travis have a big gash in his head or am I seeing things? Oh my goodness. This is They go from watching SummerSlam together on pay-per-view when they were kids and being friends to this now, Triple T, all these years later. Well, this is for all the marbles. This is whoever wants to be on top. So this is a huge matchup right here at our exclusive there SummerSlam. No friends in the big leagues, though, once you get there. Climb the ladder again, and is he going to knock it down? Travis, though, is setting up his own ladder. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my goodness. Travis now kicking away here on Showtime Sean. Picks him up. Pile driver. Well executed there. Now what's Travis doing? He's going to go outside the ring. What's he looking for underneath the ring? Nothing's underneath the ring. Now what is he doing? Walking around some more. What is he going to look for now? He's got the table. Back in the ring and... 
Travis is setting up. Can he get up to the ladder? Let's see. Going for the backbreaker. Well executed there by Showtime Sean. Oh, absolutely. He picks up Travis. Oh, and the elevator move falling back down. That's like an electric chair. The action is so fast to call. I can't believe these guys aren't getting tired from this. This match has been going on for a long time. Tornado DDT by Travis. Now what? Oh, and a reversal of a clothesline by Sean. Nobody's really selling anything here. They're just kind of getting up. Now what's he going to go? Picks him up. He's going to go for a standing... Oh, perfect plex? What is this? Perfect plex in the ring. Just leaves him there. Sean now is going to set him up. Here comes the sweet chin music. Will he execute it well? They're tuning up the band. And oh, no. It gets in the way. Travis with a kick. Travis picks him up. Pile driver. Oh, my goodness. All right, we'll be right back.